What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we're doing a Tesla update all about Elon Musk's latest tweet about Tesla unveiling an all-electric semi-truck sometime in September of this year. Now, initial rumors started popping up about the Tesla semi-truck back when they unveiled Master Plan Part De in mid-2016. Ever since then, things have stayed pretty quiet. But what we do know is that Jerome Guillen, head of the Model S, uh, I believe he was program manager of the Model S for Tesla when they launched that vehicle about three or four years ago, has been working with the top secret team to develop the semi-truck product. Now, according to Elon, it must be ready to be unveiled and they must be finalizing a design that they think is good enough to be in production and selling a ton of cars because otherwise I doubt they would do the unveiling. And all this comes at a crazy time because of course we have Model 3 deliveries starting, coming around the corner in about three or four months. The Gigafactory is being built. They're integrating Solar City. Like a million things are happening and now we can just add one more thing to the mix. It's a new category. So on one hand, incredibly exciting growth potential and opportunity here. On the other hand, it's like, what the hell's going on? Is this way too much? I don't really know. Anyway. What is the potential of Tesla's electric semi-truck? There is a startup called Nikola Motors. I know, kind of ironically named. They're trying to bop the Tesla trend, of course. Apparently some old Tesla people work there too. But anyway, in 2016, they unveiled a hydrogen fuel cell sustainable semi-truck that got a ton of press in the truck world. And they opened up pre-orders, kind of similar to Tesla's reservation system. And within a couple months, we're able to generate pre-orders for over 7,000 trucks worth an estimated 2.3 billion. So really interesting to see that um, and kind of like the pent up demand for a sustainable solution in the semi truck industry. Taking a step back, I wanted to look at what were the overall semi truck sales in the US and what do I think Tesla can capture of that to kind of just get a really rough estimate of the potential of this product. According to the data that I found, there's approximately 250,000 semi trucks sold annually in the US each year. These have an average selling price for the cab, that's like the front of the truck that I assume Tesla would be selling, of about 155,000. Now that puts the annual market potential for semi trucks at about 40 billion. And remember, this is in the US alone. So this is a really, really exciting opportunity. Keep in mind, Tesla's Model S and X are both combined at a 10 billion or so revenue run rate right now. If Tesla were to capture 20% of this large, uh, or of this semi-truck market in the US alone, that would be equivalent to 8 billion in revenue. So this is a bigger opportunity than the S or X, maybe even combined. Why? Because I don't think they're just trying to go after the truck market. I think Elon is actually going after the rail car market here as well, because he says in Master Plan Part De, it will make these trucks significantly cheaper to operate than anything else on the road. Per Tesla's business model of only releasing products that are magnitudes better than the status quo, I think the truck will be nothing different. What does that mean? It will be so much cheaper to operate on a per trip basis, mainly because you're recharging it with renewable energy, not oil, and the truck can drive itself so you don't need a driver. So actually, let's build on that. The fact that Tesla may be integrating self-driving capabilities into its trucks is massive. Drivers, first of all, they have to sleep. So half the day they're sleeping, which means half the time the truck isn't driving. If Tesla has a robot driving it, I'm pretty sure the robot never has to sleep. So the thing can go for 24 hours. Oh, before the bears tell me that you need to stop and recharge your truck, remember, Tesla showed us incredibly fast, like under 30 second battery swap technology a couple years ago. My bet is they're gonna integrate something very similar for trucks. And all along all these major highway routes and corridors, they're gonna have these battery swap stations so trucks can just pull in, swap, and keep going. Really exciting to see the proposition of not having a driver in the truck, because not only does this mean that it's gonna be way cheaper to operate, it's estimated that over a quarter of all operational expenses of a truck are just paying the driver, but it's cheaper to insure as well because you don't have someone who's driving that may get tired, that may fall asleep, that may get into an accident. There's none of that to worry about either. All these benefits. And on top of it, if you're the guy who's actually receiving the product, you're going to get it twice as fast because the driver isn't sleeping every night. The car's just driving straight there. So this means even more perishable items could be sent. Like it just opens so many doors. When these trucks become fully autonomous, then we'll see them compete more and more with rail cars as well. Now there's a lot of debate. I'll link to this for a question, which has a ton of good info about what's a better method for transporting which goods, rail or trucks. And all I have to think, like from a very high level, the way I'm thinking about this is if Tesla can create a more compelling cost structure for a truck, 
then that same cost structure will translate into more industries that rail is currently using as well. So I think there's a reason why they're doing a truck with self-driving capabilities. I think they can significantly grow the heavy truck market and take market share away from rail when they launch this product. Tons to get excited about here. On the flip side, I also wanna balance this out with what's the risk? Now, I think it's interesting to note that the bulk of the capital investment for a program like this would occur when they're doing the tooling for the factory. So when they decide, okay, we're actually gonna build the semi-truck, we need to build all these robots to actually produce the thing, that's when the billions get spent. Hiring a team of engineers to design a prototype may cost millions, but in the grand scheme of Tesla's R&D budget, that's kind of a drop in the bucket. People are getting confused that they have too much on their plate when I think the resources are actually being allocated quite well. Because if you think about it, all those design and production capabilities capabilities from the Model 3 are sort of already spent. Like they already have the final design and production. Now is just the capital intensive phase of tooling the factory. The truck is in the opposite mode where they're needing the very high level conceptual design engineering without any of the tooling. So when the tooling for the Model 3 is done, then they'll be able to immediately focus on tooling for the semi truck. So that kind of makes sense. But when they do ramp production of this and when that factory tooling is needed, they will need to spend billions. And if the Model 3 is not pumping out excess cash flow by then, the company's still at break even, that's going to mean they're definitely going to have to raise more capital. All those shorts or investors or keep in mind what you want to, but I just think if Tesla goes as fast as they want to with this, that probably means more dilution and more raising capital. I don't really have a problem with that as a shareholder because I think they're going to execute on that fine, but I think it is worthy to know that this means like another big project, another big ramp, another massive capitally intensive truck machine to build just means they're going to need more money. I'd love to see them launch the Model 3 and that be profitable enough to fund development for a truck, but I don't think that'll happen. But anyway, that's just an interesting thing that we'll be watching to play out down the road. So to sum it up, I think this is a bigger story than Tesla just launching an electric truck. It's more about Tesla launching a self-driving truck and that will be the biggest disruption in the industry that will take market share not away from, not just away from every other truck maker, but from rail makers or rail operators as well. Lots to be excited about here. Elon never su stops surprising us at every turn. Like the, the rate of innovation and execution at Tesla is incredible. Like it's just mind boggling. Either way, there's no doubt that investing in Tesla is not a sure thing, but there it is a sure thing that you will be excited no matter what happens. Keep that in mind. Anyway, hyperchange. I'll see you guys next time. Self-driving robotic trucks could be on the road in five years. Thanks to Elon. Peace. One last thing that I wanted to say is that I think bigger than trucks is this signals that Tesla's plan of reducing battery costs is probably well on track. I don't think they would commit to launching a truck with all this Model 3 stuff going on if two things. First, if they hadn't already figured out exactly how to produce the Model 3 and the battery costs for that weren't exactly where they wanted. I don't think they'd be moving forward with the truck if that was the case. Just taking a step back, if we are watching what Tesla's doing, kind of like looking at like, okay, what's their, like they're, I think they're signaling that they've advanced battery technology enough to move into all these different platforms. And they've d figured out production enough to where they're confident enough that they can produce batteries at that cost at scale and make it work. As a Tesla bull who's looking at the manufacturing capabilities of the company as a whole and where battery costs are and how that plays out in each little niche of the company's business, this makes me really excited and optimistic, not just about trucks and what they can do, but about the fact that the company is well on track to meet their demand and production plans for the Model 3. Really good sign.